Hi y'all, it's D Day. So as you can tell, I'm not feeling too good today. So I won't be going nowhere. So anyway, I got tired of a lot of shit. I did. So I didn't have a vehicle, I was driving Mikey's car. So he's got till three o'clock today to come get it. I told him if he didn't, I was gonna have it impounded and he'd had to pay to get the thing out. I'm tired of him not making me a priority. You know that kind of shit. So what? I'll have to walk down the road to the grocery store. It's a mile there and a mile back. Big deal. It, it'd take me 30 minutes to walk to the Dollar Tree, 30 minutes back. Big deal. I'll just have to do it before I take my medications or I'll pass out on the side of the road. You know what I mean? No big deal. Because I hand wash my clothes and hang them outside. By the way, somebody is stealing my clothes off my damn clothesline. I've had two shirts come up missing this week, and it's starting to piss me off. That people want to come through there and steal your shit off your clothesline. I don't know. I put them off six years into this relationship. He has his own way of doing things and his own excuses. I'm tired of excuses. I'm tired. So, I don't know if I'll be able to afford dollar ride back and forth to my doctors or to get my meds. I know I have to walk to get my groceries and shit, but it is what it is. I need to lose some of his ass anyway. Oh, man. So it is what it is. It's just me trying to figure out shit out again. I'm blessed to have my apartment. I'm totally in love with it. Totally, 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 totally in love with it. Just like Casey in love with his motorcycle. I told him to stick that tailpipe up his ass and rotate on it. You know what I mean? Rotate on it. That's just all I'm saying. After a while, you get tired of your man not paying attention to you or leaving you sitting places when you go somewhere alone and all that kind of thing. I got tired of it. You know, uh, just got tired of it. <coughs> <coughs> so I just took my meds. It's 2 30 in the afternoon. I hand washed my quilts today, my clothes, and hung them out. And Lord forbid, if somebody goes up there and steals my damn quilt off the line, or slap them upside the head. So I've got my apartment cleaned up. Guess I'll pull some diamond art out or something. It gets pretty lonely here. It does. So I don't know where I'll have to walk to to download this video. But I had to figure it out somehow or another. Oh no. Six years of my life down the drain. Man, change, ladies. They change. The first two years is good. After that, they think they got your ass. And they quit trying. Or they lie to you about commitment and everything else, you know. But it, it, it's okay. I'm not interested anymore. And no, more, and, and, and no one, just me. I had to figure all this shit out myself anyway. You know, if I ain't got a man that's going to help me like they're supposed to, damn fly, I'm just going to knock you off this floor. I'm fixing to jump to stop bitch like your ass across this floor in a minute. Y'all, I just, I can't stand it when a fly comes in. I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. So there went me going to my fitness classes Monday through Friday. Holy shit. Ain't got a lot, or y'all know this. Because I'm going to have no way. 
I won't have a way to Walmart to get my prescriptions. I had to walk to get the groceries. No big deal. My fitness classes is over with. My job training classes I was going to do that I could take and I'm not deducting thing on my disability check. That's gone down the drain too because there's no vehicle and I can't afford one. But I did have my apartment and they can't nobody take that away from me unless I get evicted. I don't see any chance in that. I keep a clean, spick and span household, you know what I mean? It's called OCD. My mental problems is caused by men. A man, specifically a man, and things I went through growing up in childhood. 58 years old, here I go again. So I'm going to leave it alone. Just be alone. So this will be two weeks straight. I didn't go out anywhere. I sure won't be going nowhere now because I can't afford to. There's, I can't afford a dollar ride. Don't have a vehicle. Don't have family members to help me or friends or neighbors or, you know, hell, half my neighbors don't have vehicles either. They're riding around on bicycles. Hell, maybe I need to get me a bicycle. I don't know. Tomorrow's another day. Anyway, he's got 30 minutes to show his ass up to get this car. And if he die, I'm going to call the record service and have it pounded. He'll have to go his ass up and get it. It'd be last time. He treats me like shit and gets by with it. I was just saying... Don't go, not going to respect me. I'm not going to respect you. That's just the way I roll. Anyway, I'm sitting here. I don't have TV because I can't afford it. I don't have movies to watch. can't afford it either. I have a radio, but it kind of gets on my nerves sometimes. So I'm sitting here, and you can hear a pin drop. Listen, you'll hear this shit. Anyway, I was letting you know what was going on. I'll get this about downloaded as soon as I can. Anyway, it's just me, just little old day day. Y'all have a wonderful Easter. Enjoy yourselves. Try to stay out of the family drama if you can. It's going to be hard, but just try or just don't go, period. I'll just say it. Y'all have a good afternoon, good weekend. Hit that thumbs button. Share this video. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'm just saying.